It's Don here from the board. Thanks for coming along and checking out this video. So today's video is a little bit different simply because all I'm going to be talking about is the very recently launched Kickstarter campaign for the hub profile keycaps. Now, of course, before we go any further, I have to say that this video is not in any way whatsoever sponsored or um, requested by the van keyboards or kickstarter or this particular campaign did you want to come up no you gonna run away go back to watching play school all right you want to come up ah. okay so what exactly is the hub keycap profile now before i actually bring it up on the screen and and the actual kickstarter campaign itself it's something that evan from the van keyboards has actually been working on for the last two years. It's a new profile of keycaps suitable for MX stem type mechanical switches, uh, which is kind of placed in between the profiles of DSA and the Cherry profile. Now, I think what is really exciting about this is the fact that it's kind of the newest, uh, I suppose, keycap profile that anybody has ever attempted to make at a large industrial scale from the Western world. And when I say the Western world, what I mean by that is there's already new keycap profiles that have been coming out from Asia. For example, the eDrug Mix keycap profile set, which is what I've actually got on my, uh, my keyboard right here, which obviously a lot of people have seen over sort of the last couple of months since I've actually had it. And of course, I've done a review on that particular profile keycap set as well. Uh, so I'm very keen to see what the hub is all about, as well as the fact that they are going to be offering a large range of color options and themes, plus the fact that because it's going to be an automated process from everything that I've been told about so far from Evan in talking to him in our Slack, there should be a very low amount of error rates, the accuracy of the actual uh, consistency, the the quality of the production in theory should be really great because this is a very, very modern plastic injection shot process and company. <clears throat> now, putting this in comparison to say Signature Plastics who have been manufacturing keycaps for a very, very long time, there is a particular issue here where, and I don't know if this is fact or not, that there claims to be a lot of manual process involved. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, but certainly if there's more manual processes versus automated process, there's greater likelihood for human error. And especially if they're running older machinery, then your tolerances, uh, you know, variations, accuracy, and all that kind of stuff do come into play and potentially why they have a lot of these grab bags. Now, going to a new manufacturer who are using potentially newer, better state-of-the-art equipment with automated processes, you might expect and hope, of course, to get a better product so long as they do everything right. Now, I guess there's not terribly much more to say since we don't have them in hand. We can't really look at them, feel them, and see them and talk about them. So let's have a quick look at this Kickstarter campaign to see what it's all about. So just switching over here to the screen here. And uh, I might as well switch off my front-facing camera because it's not going to add a lot of value at this point in time. So. Here is the Kickstarter page. Now, the first and foremost thing that's really important is it has a huge goal. Now, of course, I've got my Kickstarter account logged in and it's in AUD, Australian dollars, which is $650,000. It's massive. I think the American conversion is going to be roughly around $500,000 or thereabouts. You can see we've currently got 153 backers and there's still 59 days to go. So it is a 60 day campaign and it will end on June the 1st, Australian Eastern Standard Time. There's a lot of details, but uh, you know, if you're in the keyboard community, you've probably already seen these posts either on Reddit or on GeekHack or around and everywhere else. We've had Evan and 2ZQQ as well come onto our podcast and talked about the profile and how exciting that they've been you know, working on this particular project. As I said before, you know, it's two years worth of work. Now, there's some details here, so double shot ABS, thick walled, and by thick walled, I've spoken to Evan about this post, this Kickstarter launching a couple of hours ago, that they are 
the 1.5 millimeter wall thickness to match the Chero style GMK type of keycaps and the particular profile. So there's you know more information there. There's a gallery with some renders. And what is really cool is the fact that it comes as a 148 keycap set. So the coverage here provides you with a full 10 keyless plus additionals for a variety of different layouts, including your ISOs. One thing to note, of course, is that you are not going to get legended mods with words, but rather they're symbolic. So if this is something that doesn't really tickle your fancy, it's just something to be aware of, and you're not really going to be able to easily match the profile with, say, keycaps from other sets. Now, here we go in regards to the colors. All sets include all the colors. So we've got 80s Kid, we've got Royal, Heart, matching ski data, a classic, another classic which is Miami, we've got Joker which is kind of the whole uh, troubled minds kind of thing, you got Hive which is it looks like a bit of a, a carbon kind of spin-off, Nuke which is I suppose taking inspiration from nuclear data, Paperwork which is pretty clean, um, Dreamweaver, Midnight which is a bit of that uh, Chronicler kind of look and aesthetic, the I think what do they call it? Um, Oh, I've, I've had a total mind blank right now. But anyway, let's move on. Laguna. And here we have an example of the actual profile. So from the R1, which is the furthest away from you, the F key row, as well as the, the number row, and then all the way down to the spacebar row. So you can see how they've shown and distinguished it, as well as an example of their 3D printed prototype and what it looks like. What makes this really interesting is the fact that the spacebar row actually has a natural tilt to it. So if you're the type of person, for example, like me, where you actually flip your spacebar around to get that angled towards your thumb, then this is automatically designed to incorporate that kind of feel within it. And now these are, of course, more renders. So it would be nice to see more of these keycap pictures, even if they were the prototype pictures that they'd 3D printed and tested, as well as the metal scented ones that goldy colored brass looking stuff at the top um, but what can I say can can only sort of go so far so these these are the ones that we're talking about the scented prototypes 3d printed in metal they probably could have had some nicer pictures in regards to the flat profile and these actually mounted on something but there's always time for them to do that and edit or add extra information in regards to this Kickstarter if they wanted to because I know that there has been some people asking for to see how they look like sitting on the caps rather than these high angled-ish looking kind of pictures. So uh, yeah, that's just a bit of feedback. So we've got a timeline and you can see that they're looking to finish the campaign in June and have everything shipped out by October. So it's pretty ambitious. There's obviously a lot of money involved. Uh, there's some risks that are described here. So we're talking about uh, you know, packaging, color matching, um, being able to ship stuff on time. And you know what? That's exactly the same as any other buy and any other campaign. Now, why am I doing a video about this? Why am I putting time down and, you know, getting myself out there and backing this is because one, it's a really great project. It shows the amount of dedication, time, effort, and belief within themselves to make this happen. Two, it adds another profile to the already expanding and growing options in regards to keycaps. You know, for a very long time we had OEM plus what Signature Plastics offered, which was, uh, you know, DCS, DSA, G20, and SA. And then we also have, of course, the original Cherry profile, which GMK makes. But then we're starting to see more stuff. We know that SP Signature Plastics is starting to come out with DSS as well, reviving an older profile to, I suppose, gain that interest in the alternatives. Plus, we've seen you know the Asian stuff like uh, the Taoha Cubic. We've seen the XDA come out. We've also seen the VTC, which is a Vortex uh, profile that's coming out new as well. And of course, what I mentioned before, which is the e-drug mix. So adding another profile which fills in the different gaps will really be able to complete the type of options that we have out there. And thirdly is the price for this particular Kickstarter campaign is absolutely amazing. 
Now, normally you would expect to be paying 100 plus US for a GMK set and a signature plastic set, you know, all the way up to 150, 160 dollars or even more sometimes. With the e-drug set, with the e-drug mix that I've got, it was 40 US dollars. What we're seeing here, right, is that with the pledge options, it's $50 as part of a Kickstarter. And, and that's really quite affordable, all things considering, since these are supposed to be made in the US rather than cheaper manufacturing processes in Asia. Now, of course, shipping is involved. So, you know, if I put that on, you can see shipping to Australia is going to be another $13. But this is Australian, right? This is this is going to be $82 Australian for a keycap set, which for 148 keycaps is actually really good. But what makes this really awesome is the fact that if you want to pick more than one because you like the different colors, or if you're going to be in a situation where potentially you know you want something to give away, something different, or you just want to support it, the more sets you buy, the cheaper it gets. When you get down to here and you're at the $300 mark, right, so 391 Australian roughly, you're going to get all 12 keycap sets. That comes up to 449 Australian or $38 a set Australian, which is cheaper than the e-drug set. Of course, it doesn't really work for you if you don't want all the different colors. But uh, for me, it's something that does interest me because I want to be able to see the colors, the color productions, how well they match, uh, as well as it means that I potentially have options for you know, giving away or doing competitions and stuff like that for the colors that I don't like and don't keep for myself. But even if you think about it for non-Australians, if you're shipping it to another country, say, for example, the US, let's find the uh, United States, it's $35, so it's $10 cheaper for 12 sets. So at $335 for 12, now if I bring up my, my calculator, so $335 divided by 12 is, it's $28 for a keycap set, and each set is $148. That is an incredible price. Of course, it doesn't work once again if you don't want all of the different colored sets. But putting that aside, I have actually asked Evan about this and he's currently in discussions with the people involved as part of this campaign to see if it's possible to run it group by style rather than having one of each set, but just saying 12 of a particular pick of colors. Now that is not confirmed. And I'll repeat, that is not confirmed at this point in time. But if it does become an option, then potentially you could buy 12 of one set if you really wanted to. And at $28, man, that really opens up the floodgates. So where are we at with this? We've got 59 days to go. There is a bucket load of money that is still needed to be raised for this. and. I will be backing this project in some way or another. Now I'm doing this video to increase the visibility of this. I've already posted on Facebook. Um, you know, I've shared it on um, my Facebook page. I've shared it on my Facebook page for the board podcast as well. That's already been posted on various slacks and discords and so on and so forth. So anybody who's actually actively in the keyboard community, no doubt will already see and have exposure to this Kickstarter campaign. But what we need to do for those people who are supporting this campaign and want to make this happen is get it out to the wider community. And that means people who potentially have mechanical keyboards, people potentially who use mechanical keyboards, who previously might have said, you know what, I would love to get some different keycaps, but I don't want to be paying $100 plus. I don't want to be paying $150 plus for these sets. Now, if they back this, they don't have to. Yes, it is an unproven profile, but because it takes its influences from DSA and Cherry, which are some of the very popular key, key sets out there, sorry, key profiles out there, then I don't feel this will feel horrible. It doesn't look horrible. And just by you know first impressions, I think it should be a great profile to work with. So what I'm doing here is I'm putting this video and I would love it 
if people would like the video and they could share this video because what that means is it'll improve the visibility, it'll improve the outreach for this across YouTube. It would be amazing if we could go viral and just get into the hands of people who haven't seen mechanical keyboards and are thinking, what on earth are mechanical keyboards? People who have mechanical keyboards but had never realized or known that you can get different keycaps for them. And people who have mechanical keyboards who are looking for keycaps to see that there are other options coming out there if they had tried all the other different profiles out there unsuccessfully to their satisfaction and endgame. So, when this video finishes, if you could do me an absolute favor, and of course the community in general, and help spread the word, please hit the like button and please hit the share button. And of course, on top of that, if you've somehow come across this video and you don't know who we are, as in the board podcast, and you want to know more about mechanical keyboards and building DIY stuff, electronics, PCB designs, reviews, keycaps, artisans, the whole kit and caboodle, hit subscribe as well. And of course, you can head over and check out our podcast at www.theboardpodcast.com. Plus, if you're not a user of Reddit, you are more than welcome to head over and check out Reddit and our entire 200,000 strong community on r slash mechanical keyboards. So that's pretty much it. Now I'm just going to turn my camera back on so you can see my face and uh, the, the hot weather that we're having here in Australia at the moment over Easter. Um, I want to say thank you, of course, to everyone who continues to support our channel. I want to thank everybody who continues to be really positive and strong and stalwart in regards to mechanical keyboards and helping our community grow. And of course, to Evan and everybody else who's worked really hard at the Van keyboards to make this project almost come to reality short, just uh, $600,000. So, thank you very much once again. Please hit that like, that share and subscribe. And, as always, until next time, happy clacking.